Hello everyone, it is KP again, and today we'll be developing a file in C, a program in C that would take a log or a diary kind of thing, and it will have a time stamp, we'll be using the time function today, as you can see here, and we'll be writing to a new file, we'll be opening a new file. So let's get started. First. We want to get our file. File pointer, and we'll do the direct assignment. of the fopen function that returns a memory location to the file and the operation we're doing will be writing to the file now I'm, I'm only using mhel here but instead of having to enter my uh, directory I have assigned the directory to a string in the definition so wherever it sees ml it's going to put in this string uh, this is um, convenient for if you have to do this many times to write a, a big program then it's just convenient just to have a string do all the work for you all right Since we're going to be entering a character at a time and using the EOF character to end the file, close it, and save it, we have to check. We have to enter a character at a time. So we'll be creating a char variable, ch. Okay, now here. Okay, I'm gonna just put take this, put this down there to make that make it a little, a little bit cleaner. Here we want to do a check. We want to do a check that if on our f open function, if the memory was assigned properly, then we'll continue. But if the memory was not assigned properly, something was wrong. Something went wrong. We want to return a message. to the screen error creating file and return control to the operating system as one or an error in this case Okay, we'll be entering and checking each character at a time because we'll be using the EOF character to end the session, close the file and save it. So we want to check each character at a time. I'll be doing that in a do while loop. So here... We'll get the car, assign it to our character variable, ch, and we'll check to make sure that it is a character and not the end of file character. So if the if our variable is not equal to the end of file character, we will uh, put 
to do a file put of the character into our text file. Into our text file. So uh, this function takes two arguments. It takes your string and it takes your file pointer. In this case, it's my log. Check the condition of the loop if the character is not equal to EOF and the file then it'll just return to the loop run through the loop again if it is equal to the EOF character it will break the loop and end the file the session and save the session here we have our F close. That's important. If you don't have that, the file is going to remain locked and unusable. So that has that's this is important to have. All right now we since I said we are going to be putting in a timestamp, we will have to invoke or make calls to the time functions, and this is how you do that. First, we're going to make a variable of type time t. We're going to say now, because you want now, I'm calling it now. Then we are going to pass our now variable to the time function by reference. All right, now we're ready. And now this will just return the raw time but there's another function that we have to use that would format the time into something that we can readily understand so let's go and do that Mom, Daddy. All right, um, where was I? Okay, print that. Okay, before we go into it, we just have a simple message here. We're gonna put in the timestamp. Gonna put in the timestamp our pointer my log um, the function that we're using returns a string so we have to put the string operator time function which formats the time into something that we can use so the cmat function c time function plus our time variable and it has to be passed by reference which is why we have the and sign okay c time now this looks good everything looks good Let's compile and see what we get. Alright. Incorrect spelling here. Keyword incorrect keyword. Spelling. Always with the semicolon forgetting. getting. 
Let's do uh, do another semicolon. All right, so we compiled successfully after those minor minor fixes. So let's see what we have. All right, we'll be saving it into this myfile.txt. Let's run the program. Okay, on my computer to execute the end of, end of file X um, character, I have to hit enter, then control Z, then enter again. The file close as it should, return zero, and let's check the file to see what we have. My stuff, my file, that was the file I was created. And there it is. Today is Monday, March 14th. The timestamp 1430, 25 seconds, 2016. And this is my entry into the log. Alright, so it works great. Thanks for watching, everyone. And have a great day. Good times coding. Thank you. Bye.